Hello everyone, Miss James here. Today we're going to be going over the main idea. And this is a great introduction PowerPoint that I will be using by the wonderful Deb Hansen. Today I'm here with you to share all the scoop on main idea. First, all pieces of writing and all stories and books contain a main idea. Hold on a second. What is a main idea? Well, the main idea is the most important point that the author is trying to make. Authors use something called supporting details to help the main idea. So wait, what are supporting details? Well, supporting details are statements that help explain or prove the author's point, which is the main idea. Think of an ice cream cone. Would you wanna make an ice cream cone with me today? Well, the first thing you need is the cone. And that's like your main idea. So we're gonna think of the main idea as the cone. It's the most important part of the story. Think of the supporting details like the ice cream scoops. Supporting details are like the scoop of ice cream on an ice cream cone. Each supporting detail helps your main idea that much better. Just like you love eating the ice cream cone, but it wouldn't be as great without the ice cream on top. Each supporting detail helps explain or prove the main idea. So just like making an ice cream cone, main idea is usually stated first. It's the first thing that you're going to read. And then the supporting details come next. Not always though most of the time. This is the rule. Be careful though what happens when an ice cream cone isn't made carefully and the scoops aren't lined up. Yikes! Your ice cream cone falls apart. Same thing in a story. If your supporting details do not relate to the main idea, they're just going to confuse the reader and the story isn't going to make any sense. What happens when a person tries to put too many scoops on their ice cream cone? Ah, your ice cream cone also falls apart. Too many supporting details can confuse the reader from finding the main idea. So let's review what we've learned so far. What is the definition of main idea? The main idea is the most important point the author is trying to make or what the author is trying to say. What are the supporting details and how do they relate to the main idea? Well, the supporting details are statements that help explain or prove the author's point or the main idea. Uh-oh, warning, main idea is not the same as a topic. Topic is a general subject like math, reading, science, and art. The main idea is the most important point or the most important message. Examples of topics versus main idea. Example number one, your topic could be bears, but the main idea is there are many different types of bears. So in that book, you're going to find out all about the different types of bears. Here's another example. Your topic could be about middle school, but your main idea is middle school is different from elementary school. So in that story, you're going to hear all the differences of middle school versus elementary school. And the third example, computers. That would be your topic. But the main idea is that computers help people do things faster than they otherwise could. Does this make sense? Do you see how the topic and the main idea are different? The topic is just the general subject and the main idea is the most important point that the author is trying to make or tell you. Stay tuned next time when we practice finding the main idea. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson with me today and I will see you guys soon. Bye!